Okay, everybody, we're back again. And today we're gonna open and review the Jurassic World Battle Damage Mini Dino Multipack. It's supposed to have 15 cool dinosaurs in it. Some of them with battle damage, like they've been in a fight or something. So let's check it out and see what it is. Now it says these are for ages three and up. So I'm hoping that they're pretty kid friendly. Let's see. What's the first one we got? Oh, cool. Rawr, can y'all see that? It's the king of the dinosaurs. It's the T-Rex. Look at there. He's kind of spongy and rubbery, but he's, he stands up. Look, let's see. Can you see him stand? Oh yeah, you can see him stand up. So he's cool to play with. You can move him around and position him. And I can see where that would work for for three-year-olds, they'd be good enough. You're not gonna swallow them, so you're gonna hang in there pretty good. But that is cool, it's decent detailing. You look around on there, see he's got some to it. Not a lot to the facial features and to the mouth. So you can look in there and see that. But that's pretty cool. There's number one, the king of the dinosaurs. Who's next, let's see. Oh, and y'all are gonna have to forgive me because some of these names are really hard. But, oh, there's a battle damaged one. Can y'all see that where he scratched up on his side? Poor guy. All right, and this one is Demetria Canthosaurus. Say that three times fast. Let's look here. He's kind of a mustard yellow look. Kind of green. But it kind of looks like baby food. Look at him. But he's done been scratched up. He did not win the battle. And again, he stands up on his own. He feels kind of solid, but a little soft. But just not a lot of detailing up there on the face. But it seems like you can be pretty aggressive, guys, whenever you go to really get in your dinosaur battles with these guys. They're going to be pretty tough. Let's see what else we got. Oh, it's our boy. It's our boy, Blue. Y'all remember Blue. He's the, he's the buddy. He's the friendly dinosaur that's vicious, that saves the day. It's Blue. That is pretty cool. So he doesn't have any battle damage on him, but you see it's got the blue markings on it. Again, his face is pretty simple, but... Like I said, it'd be cool in dino battles here. And next, we got the Indoraptor. Oh, the Indoraptor. It's black with yellow striping. It's pretty ferocious looking. Pretty ferocious looking. He looks like he would just eat you up right there. Ah. Maybe not. Maybe we're good. Sneaky. He'll get in there on us. So, okay. Well, there's number four. We're going through these things. Oh, it's a big green guy. It's the Stegosaurus. And he's got battle damage. Look, he messed with the wrong person. Can you imagine with that tail? Look at that thing. He could, he's could he got spikes and he could just hit you with that. Who would be messing with that guy? He does kind of have a tiny head though. He does have a tiny head. And once again, there's not a lot of detail on his face. But that's pretty cool. His back and all the spikes along, along his ridge up there. He's good to go. Another tough, tough dinosaur. All right. What else we got here? The Baryonyx. Do y'all remember him? I don't remember him from the movie. But he's got a little ridge line along his back right there. A big mouth kind of looks like a, almost like an alligator or something up there. Y'all see that? He is cool. Once again, pretty ferocious. You'd probably want him on your team in a dino battle. Oh, 
I don't know how to say this guy, but he is freaky looking. Look, he's the one that spits. He's got the, the little green jaws that flop out. He is terrifying looking. And it's pretty neat though. He's bright green. He just looks like he would get after you right there. Yeah, he does. And next we got the Stigmalock. Can y'all see a Stigmalock? They call him Stiggy. I hope I'm saying that right. I could be saying that wrong. But he's the one that's got the head where he can just run into anything. Bam, bam. He'd hit you. He would be fun to play with. Maybe not the smartest dinosaur, but he's almost indestructible with his little helmet up here. So that's cool. See who's next. Oh, it's an oldie but a goodie. These are one of the first ones you learn about is Triceratops. Triceratops. Look at him. He's got the big shield and his horns. Just a big old solid dinosaur. You would not want to be messing with him. He's brown. Look, his body, he's got a bunch of scales on him. And his face, it seems like his face, they did a little more defining work on that to where he's a little more distinguished. So that's cool. All right. Well, we're over halfway done, guys. The Oppositorus? Something like that. Y'all see that guy. He's the one with the big long neck and he's huge. And yet somebody managed to get a hold of him. You see that? This is a big guy. I mean, he's huge. And somebody still tore his side up right there. That's hard to believe. They got him. Poor guy. But I'm pretty sure he eats plants. But we're going to stick him over here because he's too big not to have on your team, okay? All right. Let's see who else we got. Oh, is this the Allosaurus? Again, not great with the names, but... That dude is mean looking. Look at that. I mean, he's just screaming like, hey, who are you looking at? I'm going to come eat you, eat you. Maybe not. Maybe not. Somebody's done got to him too. I don't think he was on the winning team. Look at that. Or maybe he just got beat up a little bit and he come back to be a hero. I don't know. Oop, he fell over. Come here. Stand back Oh, this one, this one's special. It's Indominus Rex. See that? Because he can be invisible. You can't see him. That is awesome. They made him clear. That is so cool right there. Look, his face has a bunch of detail on it. If you can see that right there. But he is completely clear. He's got big feet, and that's right. He would be the one that would really be scary for you. I guess that's why they made him. But that dude could blend in with everything. Think about something being invisible. There's no way you can defend against that. You wouldn't even know he was there. He's going to hide out back there in the back. See, he kind of blends in. You can barely see him right there. All right, it's another cool one. It's the Carnotaurus. Look at that dude. His face is kind of weird looking, but they got a bunch of body definition on him. His feet, look at them feet. Boy, if he got a hold of you, you would be in trouble. Ooh, pretty cool looking dinosaur. I think we're getting close to the end. Oh, look, it fell over. Oh, that's because we took the big daddy out of it. The Mosasaurus. The big, this was the one that got free, remember? He's got a movable jaw so he can come save the day and eat it. But I'm not sure you'd want this big boy 
swimming around in the ocean. I don't think that would be best case scenario here. You would not want to be in his path. Can y'all see that? He's got good definition on his back. And like I said, once again, he's pretty solid, but he's got he's so, kind of soft to the touch, but he's solid. So he would be fun to play with. He's He really would be the one. You could even probably, you'd have to read, but I bet you could take this one and play with it in the bath with your other toys. He'd be cool. All right, let's see. All right, our last one. And it's the smallest one that's going to swoop in. It's the Pteranodon. Look at him. Woo. He's a cool kind of dark green color. Look at his wings, though. He's got like red accents out there. And it's pretty cool. These guys always scared me watching the movie because they could just swoop in on you. I mean, even as awesome as the other dinosaurs are, I mean, think about it, the T-Rex. Boom, boom, I can come get you. You can't do anything to me because I'm in the air. You don't know what's going on. Those dudes right there freaked me out. They were the ones that I was really scared of. So we're going to put him back there. All right, well, guys, that's all of them. So that's awesome. I'm going to turn this off. Let y'all go check out your own, and I'm going to go play with some dinosaurs. See y'all next time.